I started working on the East African Youth at Work program as a consultant in 2015 and just this year I joined the organization full time in February. Youth training and development, thank you Mike. <laughs> youth training and development is very important to me because I was one of those young people that loved the idea of exploring different careers and industries and I participated in the youth career awareness program as both a student and a summer counselor at what is now the Dunwoody College of Technology. We had a celebration at the end of every program year to acknowledge the growth that took place in the hearts and minds of the young people, and we earned valuable work and life experience as well. There's always a community of parents and others showing support for this program, and others like it, to engage our youth. Now we will hear from someone who is the Youth and Family Programs Associate here at the Swedish Institute. She's going to welcome us and share a bit of her story. Please welcome Ms. Greta Yeager. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. So my name is Greta Yeager. I am the uh, Youth and Family Programs Associate here at the American Swedish Institute. We're very happy that you're here and you're celebrating with us tonight. Uh, part of my job is I get to spend time with the people that are zero years old all the way to about 18 years old. Some of the people I've worked with are in this room over there from Wellstone. And we work with Wellstone every single year. We have a lot of fun with them. Um, so ASI is first and foremost, the building over there that you, can, you could see when you first got here, um, first and foremost, it is a house. It is a home. Um, it was built by a Swedish uh, immigrant family that came a long way to call Minnesota home. Um, and we are very thankful for the fact that they left this space for us to have celebrations like tonight. So ASI has continued to be a gathering place for all kinds of people. Um, to celebrate and learn and share why their heritage is so important and special. Um, we love our neighbors. We love our Somali neighbors, whether you're here in Minneapolis or down in Burnsville. I'm from Burnsville, so welcome. <laughs> um, we, we spend time with a lot of our different neighbors from our Head Start preschoolers who are down the street both on Park Avenue and Portland. Um, they come with their families and plant flowers with us every year to make our outdoor space here beautiful. Uh, we work with um, the free little library system, so we, we stash books in our library and so the kids waiting to go to school can take a few with them to enjoy on the bus. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, we work with Wellstone every year, and they graciously share their immigration story with our Nordic elders every year. Uh, and we get to know each other through a series of programming. Uh, we make things and talk and give speeches and um, practice um, using our English and sharing stories. And. We also are a part of the Minneapolis Step Up Intern Program, so every summer we have a series of students who come and work with us and learn what it's like to work at a museum. So if you're curious, let me know tonight. Uh, we always love to invite new people uh, into, our, into our family here at ASI. Um, and then in, in addition, we have some amazing um, commu Somali community artists and staff who work with us here every day. So welcome everyone, we're so happy you're here. Um, we want you to be our neighbors and we aim to treat our neighbors like family. So know that you are always welcome here at ASI. If you ever want uh, a tour or just to come by and relax, um, do let us know and um, it, whether it's your first time here tonight or you're returning, um, welcome, welcome back and hope to see you again. And congratulations to all of our graduates. Um, and all of your families as well. So, welcome. Thank you. 
Thank you, Greta. Thank you to the Swedish Institute for hosting us this evening. I also want to thank Assad for helping coordinate the photography and logistics of getting everything into this beautiful space. It's great to have committed leadership from all of our core partners who helps make this celebration and the entire program happen. I now have the pleasure of introducing one of my favorite people, Ms. Wookie Wea. As president of Youth Prize, Wookie Wea provides executive leadership and vision, works in partnership with the board of directors, and brokers relationships to accelerate leadership, innovation, and systems change to, um, to, for underserved Minnesota youth. Prior to joining Youth Prize, Wookie worked for 18 years at the National Youth Leadership Council, serving as senior vice president. In that capacity, she helped shape the organization's strategic direction, cultivate partnerships, grow the funding base, and manage NYLC's youth in schools program. Professional development, annual conference, as well as special events. So she definitely had a lot on her plate. For part of that time, she also worked with UNICEF as an education project officer in Liberia, where she coordinated the Support, the War, Support to War Affected Youth Project, the Juvenile Justice Initiative, African Girl Education Initiative, and Child Friendly Spaces for Internally Displaced Children. Wookie received her master's degree in education administration from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and her bachelor's degree from Adelph Adelphi University in New York. She is an author and wide widely traveled speaker. She has, she has addressed audiences throughout the United States and Africa and written extensively on service learning and diversity. She is a native of Liberia, is married, and has five children. Please welcome Ms. Wookie Wea. I have spent some time in Sweden and have really appreciated a lot about the culture. One of the things I particularly appreciate about Sweden is the value that they place on youth. They make a huge, huge investment in their young people. No matter whether you are the son of a, the king or the son of an immigrant, you receive a check every month because they want to ensure that everybody succeeds. They understand that these investments will pay off. Sweden is always fairly high up when it comes to human index factors because they invest in the youth. Besides being president of Youth Rise, I am a huge, huge champion of youth and a bigger champion of equity. And those twin goals really drive the mission of our organization. To really fulfill our mission, we have to create access to equity and to opportunity. This program is a flagship program for Youth Prize because it really helps us to fulfill what we are designed to do, reduce um, reduce um, disparities that impact youth. For Minnesota to remain a great state, now is the time when they have to make a great investment in their young people. And with this program, I think it's a really wonderful start. Before I take my seat, I really want to thank our sponsors, the Department of Employment and Development, Deed, the Burnsville Egan Savage District, Minneapolis Public Schools, JAG, Kajuk, ISCA, New American Development Center. Without you, none of this would have been possible. And at this time, I want to welcome to the podium our first youth speaker, Mohammed from the Islamic Civic Society of America. Please join me in welcoming Mohammed Sharif. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, good, good evening. My name is Mohammed Hashi. 
I am a part of the East African Youth at Work program through the Islamic Civil Society of America and the Youth Prize. I am a senior at the Burnsville Alternative High School. Soccer is one of my passion in life. To uphold this passion for the next generation, I became a coach for the Dar es Salaam Youth Soccer Club. I was profoundly moved by the teaching upbringings of the students. Many of the students showed strength, perseverance, and willingness to learn. A specific highlight I will count in the brightening of a student's life as they finally are able to grasp concepts such as fractions or their timetables. Even when I first began tutoring, the students demonstrated kindness and respect towards me. I wanted to make an impact in the youth Somali community. Too many kids were going down the wrong path of violence, drugs, etc. I felt that education would be an important an opportunity for me to prevent kids from going down the road and guiding them to, the, to a brighter one. Before being a part of this program, I was a very fast individual. Things needed to get done quickly with no time wasted. I learned that patience is very valuable, not only when I was touring, but in all aspects of life. Sometimes certain kids will not pick up new topics in math as easy as others. I learned to be extra patient with these kids. Just the act of slowing down helped many of these students understand the concept better. I will never have been able to experience this program if it weren't for my mentors. They are guiding me as, a, as I guided the students. This part of the speech is to acknowledge and give thanks to my mentors during this process. I would first like to thank Mr. Ahmed, who is not here today, for introducing me to this wonderful program. I would also like to give thanks to Mr. Wali for allowing me to participate in this program. I would also like to give thanks to Mr. Abdullah for guiding me and allowing me to work in his excellent institution, Somali Institute. Not forgetting our last but not least, Ms. Marcia for the great support that she gave me in school and out of school. Thank you so much and may God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mohammed, for sharing your experience with us. Please give him another round of applause. Now we will hear from Mohammed Abdallah, the president of the Somali Institute of Technology. He's going to be sharing about his role as an employer with the program. Please welcome Mohammed. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammed. Abdullah. I am the president of Somali Institute of Technology. Somali Institute of Technology is a, is a tourism center for Somali youth in metro areas. It is partnership with the in, in Islamic, uh, in East African Youth Prize and Islamic Civic Society of America. The tourists, the students who work with me, like the guy before me, they, were, they did an excellent job. The tourists that work under this organization were immensely respective and, and were patient with the students who could become rowdy. That means sometimes the kids behave bad, but they were very, you know, very patient with them. They get along well with the students. They were able to understand and correct with the students, as he told you. This organization is very beneficial to, to the community, especially touring, my touring center, and I would like to continue this amazing opportunity I had with this organization for many years to come. Thank you very much. My name is Mohammed Peters. I have been part of this program over the, this past year. I have learned so much. This was a, a big opportunity for me and for my family. This was my first job while I was working, I learned teamwork, problem solving, critical thinking, 
conflict re uh, resolution, resolution, and leadership. I, I really wanted to say thank you to the Youth Prize, Deeds, and, and, and Kujog. I was being mentored during, during the time. I was working because of this. I'm going to college in a few years and continue working. Check, check. I don't think so. So just a quick announcement. If you come up to the podium, please use the handheld mic here. This one isn't turning on right now. They're taking on seven youth and working with them throughout the summer. Please welcome Mr. Hassan Ali, President of Millennium Health Services Incorporated. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan Ali. I am the owner and manager of Millennium Health Services. We have been in business for five years. We employ more than 50 employees, and majority of them are youth. Uh, we have been working with New American Development Center for about two years uh, for this youth program. And it was great and a, ple a pleasure to work with the youth. And they gain a lot of knowledge all those two years that they've been with us. They have learned how to do the billing, auditing, and how to review the time cards. And I'm looking forward in the future to work with them. And thank you all. Video up to the stage to talk about working with the staff at New American Development Center. Please welcome Khalid Mohammed and Hodan Aiden. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Holden Adlin. I go to Heritage Academy. I'm a senior. And I used to work at Abbott Northwestern Hospital at the AAC building. Um, before I joined this program, I've had troubles choosing what major I wanted to be. This program helped me um, see my future a little bit more clearly. See, I wanted to become a nurse practitioner, and I just a nurse. And I've never been more excited to be on this journey and, and have this experience be more accelerated. I'd like to thank ASIB for putting me in this program and giving me multiple chances for the things I've, you know, kind of messed up. I'd also like to thank Mahoya. I am the Ahmed She's sitting right there. Um, she pushed me to be more successful, and I really love her for that. Thank you very much. My name is Khalid. I graduated from Heritage. Um, I thank this program for for showing me new stuff and. Um, the highlight of this program was learning um, how to oh, learning how to um, pay taxes, and um, I thank him very much for letting me um, do this. Thank you. Thank you both for telling us about your experience. We really appreciate it. Um, as you can tell, there were many components that made this program possible from major funding through the Department of Employment and Economic Development, core partner meetings, employers being willing to venture into a new program with a vision of economic opportunity for youth, and of course, all these amazing young people ready to learn and experience the workforce with dedicated support. We now welcome a parent to the microphone to give her input on what this program meant to her child, Ms. Halimo Awid. And 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 
for this program. Ani ga oku hadla ya afki baran tiga ilma hafadiyo odan. On the behalf of the children who who is sitting there. Iya kuwa magamba. And those who are not here. وحنلاي هاي thank you وحقبت ك يهرو مركا آت كون أكثر آت نجارتيسين آت كثوش قيسين. thank you and improvement is on on the hard work and good job. مركا إن يرو دعاء ومحيا هاي تي أنا قلت لك جلي إن كل أنا جو إن إنتي أنا جرنا يو يا دتك كلي سوش قيه أودن أنا قلت لك جلي and we'll and that هنا يا أنا كل قبطان يا أسد أيان سو دياري يا أنا معناها أنا أقول كهذا لا يفك بارن تيجا. دمان دمان إنك إن قفك استوى حقبتين وان وجدتها نيدين يا وانا كم دي هيان. بسم كبارك يا سبحان كبلا بيا بقول كي توان كافر تان كدير يا حفلة دوينة حفلة دوينة حفلة دوينة حسيه دهاي جاي حبي جل وذا قبي حبي جل وذا قبي لا وذا قبو جل جعل لا حولي حبي قال وذا غبي قال قايل لقابو أنا أنا قعمة وذا جربان كنت تجيرنا أنا أنا قعمة وذا جربان كنت تجيرنا وبحيا إيا علي مقيام بانو اللولا هنا حفلة دن حبي جد حسيه دهاي جاي وحكرت كاني دمان وكهران جاي هن الدذي هل يد سحولان هم بل يد هم بل يد أنا أنا هبيء أنا أنا هم بل يد ثلام بنودين سدنا وبحي قياني عليه ما نلول هنا باران تيجيبان أفكودي كوا ذهدلا الثلاني واحد قدون تن الثلاني واحد قدون تن كل جعل له با ما شاء الله رنتي هرت هاي أدا إن نيو أمريكان د بفلام رنتي سنتر أيان وحا أنا جو أن دين عيدا كسر عدي قبر ده إذا واحد اللي هذا خطر محمد وحي كتير تا جروب كان هرتيج أكاديمي دكتا إن آدي يا آد بان وحقبت كان فرح دي تا يوم بان ماشي إيتو تو تاجي قف وحتقان ما هي إن آد وحان وفر حي وحقبت كا يهور مر كأي نجارسيين إن محي هاي تويلش إن هي أدها قا إن إن قيمة بدن وحقبت كنوس ما هي قدرن يرد يريد عاوية يا محيا هاي تيك عاوية إنا يا محيا هاي شقيان شقيستان إيجا وتقول كودي دي كان عيا سلام مركا أنا لود دياري إنا الشقوين هلان أيان محيا هاي تي إيجا فرحين يا يا نسيتو تاجي مركا وحن لا يهيا أسد بان إير أن ووجوه ده يان أطيرنا يا دات سيد مركا متل يا معناها ويلا شودن ويلا شودن نرنتي وحلا وذا أماني استاهلان ويل كتو وحساق بتينا وحن لا يهيا وانكو جرب تاجنا هاي إلا أتقول كادون سيد أتقاري سيد مرك أسد وهيرو جيهانات كان كوا أسد وهيرو جيهانات كي نوادا هنتو أسد وهيرو جيهانات كي نوادا هنتو هل يجي أنكو هيرا نيجي نوادا هنتو أنا أنا هم بليو دع أنكو هي بيننا أنا أنا هي بيو دعان كوهي بيننا دما ويلا شين ندعان وهي بيننا ويلا قول كي رمان قوشو واذا هنتان أنا أنا قابن ما يقاشان كي يقو مرنابا يقعلو قعما واذا جربا قوش الله قو هنتا
We have in the room today representatives from Millennium Health Services, if you would please stand. Um, YMCA Burnsville. Capital Cafe. The Mall of America. And Somali Technology Institute. Thank you so much for being amazing partners in this work. So before we present the certificates of completion to our youth, I wanted to acknowledge our amazing core partners who met monthly, sometimes bi-weekly, to plan everything from the application process to the youth work opportunities, they facilitated trainings, and so much more. These organizations have served as mentors, advocates, and partners in more ways than one. Mohammed Farah, Wali Diri, and Asad Ali Wade, we would like to have you come up individually to have words and present your youth with their certificates. <laughs> Mohammed, you're up first. So while they're coming up, I want to say a couple of things about this, uh, this program. About two years ago, um, I had Marcus, he's here somewhere, Marcus Pope in the back, uh, called me up uh, one afternoon and said, you know, hey, Mohammed, you know, I've got, we've, we're putting together this amazing program. Are you interested? Uh, it's about employment. This is the first time that we as an entity were, were, um, uh, were interested in such a program. Uh, I don't think Marcus and I uh, knew at the time that almost two years later we would have, we would have so many young people in this particular uh, uh, program. I mean, for the first time, we had, you know, a lot of the young people that we have worked with specifically uh, came from Wallstone High School. This is their first employment, their first job in the workforce. They've done so much, they've worked so hard. A lot of them were mentored. A lot of them received amazing, uh, amazing uh, trainings from various different partners. And so, again, this really couldn't happen without the foundation that was set internally in Youth Prize uh, and the support from uh, Deeds. I want to say thank you to Marcus. I know you've done an amazing job uh, supporting the Somali community. Uh, let's give him up one more for Youth Prize. And so this is the second year, the second graduates, all the young people that are here before you. Um, you know, this is, this is the second cohort. I know a lot of you have worked so hard. Uh, this is just the beginning for all of you. Uh, your whole life is ahead of you. So think big. Nothing is, uh, is impossible. So uh, that's my message for you tonight. Aside from that, I want to give a small appreciation to some of the young people that were part of this particular cohort. And I know some of the partners will do the same. Uh, the first one, uh, Sher Ismail. Okay. Uh, Zainab Mohammed. Mustafa Ahmed. Mursal Musa, not the singer. <laughs> By the way, for those of you, there's a huge, huge multi-platinum singer named Mursal Musa. <laughs> and he happens to have the same name. Uh, Mohammed uh, Peters. Uh, Zuhur Mahmoud. Fatha Mahmoud. Okay, she stepped outside. Hamza Dahir, Faiza Umar, Rahma Khalif, and Samatar Hussein. Perfect. Let's give them all of them one more, one more. Uh. Thank you so much again for your support. Appreciate it. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm asking Ixa Group, can you come up? All Ixa Group from Burnsville High School. Uh, 
I don't have a lot to say. Uh, other people in front of me, uh, before me, said you know the good words. I just want to thank. I just want to thank, you know, uh, uh, people who made this successful. The program, uh, you know, the uh, such as Youth Prize Group. Uh, I would thank the president Wukuwia. Uh, thank you the support you've given us always uh, for the youth uh, program. Also, Marcus, uh, Melissa, also she, you know, we'll be meeting a monthly meeting. Uh, you know, all, everything you got today is from Melissa. She did a lot of hard work and this uh, program it did not happen without her. Uh, also, my colleague, uh, uh, Mike Van Kulen is here. I have uh, Marsha, also it helped from the uh, Crash Center from uh, Bonesville High School. So I, it's a celebration today, and it's a ceremony, and, and, and we have to thank each other. If you don't thank other people, nobody is thanking us, right? So we have to thank it, you know, to those who help us. So today I have uh, the youth who uh, f finish their hours and participate in the program. Uh, I have also the family, their moms and dads are here. Uh, and they have a lot of good testimonial, but we don't have a time, so some of them often, uh, some of them even shy to, you know, to be here. So, but I, I let them excuse them. But I, I think it's, it's great, uh, and I think hopefully we can continue uh, this program in the future. Abdul Nasir Abdasis. the youth prize funded and did funded youth prize uh, uh, support program it has never been happening this kind of program before in the two cities i've been working with the number of organization uh, youth i was a teacher uh, for for the last 12 years we never seen an organization who have a mission to help the east african somali youth to get a successful uh, future uh, like you, Price. I would like to say thank you so much, uh, Woki. Woki is a is a great person. I would like to say, I, I would like you guys to give a a, uh, a a thankful way before you leave. Uh, her leadership is so amazing. Uh, Marcus Paul, a great friend of mine, a great friend of our Somali youth, and someone who works behind the scene putting proposals together, uh, working tirelessly to get this youth access to jobs and uh, access to experiences of, in the working place and many other mentoring and leadership programs. I would like to also say thank you so much, uh, Marcus, for your effort, uh, your input and your, uh, your energy and effort for the Somali youth. It will be something that our community uh, is so appreciative. Uh, Melissa from Youth Prize is a, also a, a person who connects all of us, all three organizations, and youth, and email each other, all connecting to us, called us monthly meeting for the last two years, making sure every th single thing we do uh, should be uh, right, and helping us whenever we have any issue. I remember I took her to Mall of America for a negotiating, a, a, a working kind of relationship, MOU, 
the Moroccan understanding the more of America is called Crayola. Uh, Melissa, Marcus, and Walkie, thank you so much for your efforts. Uh, Uh, one thing I would like to also say is this, uh, our parents who are here, I would like to say thank you so much. I would like to really say thank you so much because many parents in our community don't even know or don't have a complete understanding of the situation of their kids. I know most of these kids don't drive, they don't have cars. I know you always provide ride to and from the jobs. So you are investing in the future of your kids and we re would like to say thank you so much. Uh, just to say a few words in Somali. Organizationally, a youth prize, a Walkie, Marcus, Michelle, a Chogan, organization investment in so I wrote an Aglian and organization level of Manarak. A high school tagging in a Arutan Aoyan, in a Shoko in Helan, in mentoring a leadership of Samino, and Adban Kuti, Arutu Alamaka Bahai San, and I thank you, brother. Well, Dean Tabeshi, Adoma Santin, Mamo Halima Awood, Ela Haragasio, Amana Lano from Oba, you said, I have the Mutta Arutu Matai, and well, Dean Tafra, but then it has gone to Marna. وأرتضى صاوب رسول الله إن شاء الله وأرتضى كل شقيري المهوضة أي مارتي أي أقادان أما حسان and I would like to call the certificates هولن آدن ما هو علي نستيح هو أحمد Abdullahi Gudulo is not here. Okay, break of Abdurrahman Hashi. How long is that? Is Ahmed Hussein here? Ahmed Hussein? Ahmed Hussein? Naimah Hussein? Najma Hussein? Abdurrahman Mohamed? Afrah Mohamed? خالد خالد محمد كم صبر؟ I'm missing one. I'm missing. Oh. We would like to thank our sponsors for their generous support of this program, all of our parents and families for encouraging the career exploration of these young people, and of course the youth participants themselves. You're all making the right choice to seize every opportunity and network at an early age. That can only benefit you in the years to come as you further your education and your career goals. We would also like to offer a call to action to all of the stakeholders in the room. How can your organization continue to support these young people? We have a job to do, a place in our communities to offer our excellence, connections, and opportunity. Although the funding for this program through Youth Prize has ended, there are so many ways we can network and stay committed to the expectation that all Minnesota youth thrive. Thank you everyone for coming, and congratulations again to our participants on your completion of the program. And please everyone drive home safely.